got my buddy Grandpa Cotton here. We're going to another little cooking thing going on today. I got some baby back ribs on the pit ball smoking. Been on there for about six hours. Oh, they're going to be good. Look here today, we're also going to have some fried green onions with some Cajun cream sauce with shrimp in it. I'm going to show y'all how to cook this cream sauce. Got a lot of ingredients in it. I, I, I can't remember them offhand, so let me let me call them out to you. You take one teaspoon of butter, a half a cup of onions, that's chopped up onions real fine, one teaspoon of minced garlic, two cups of peeled or chopped tomato and the juices. That's like canned chopped tomatoes or in our case, my wife makes these here. Stewed tomatoes, that's what we're gonna use. Okay. Uh, one teaspoon of kosher salt or sea salt, up to you. A fourth teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. One fourth cup, a uh, teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. One fourth teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. That could be Slap Your Mama, that could be Tony Sassman's, whatever y'all like to use. All right, we got one teaspoon granulated sugar. One teaspoon of freshly chopped parsley. One tablespoon of freshly chopped basil, one pound of small shrimp peeled and deveined, and a half a cup of heavy cream. Now what we gotta do with this stuff, first, I already got the onions cut up, they're already in the pot there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute them onions. It takes uh, two good scoops of butter in there, put your, put your half a cup of onions in there, we're gonna saute them down, and we're gonna go from there. Y'all stand by. Okay, you got your onions in it. Now what you want to add next is your minced garlic. Throw your minced garlic in there. Make sure it's all goes in there good. What you want to do is onions just to kind of wilt a little bit. You know what I mean? They ain't got to be perfect. We, uh, we're going to try to make them perfect. But if it gets a little dry, if you like me, I like a lot of onions. If it gets a little dry, you can add just a little bit of your, your juice here. That's, that's going to be what you're going to put in there next. You're going to put your tomatoes in there. I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. This takes a long time to cook, so let me cook these onions down and uh, we'll get on the rest of the program. Uh, how y'all like them roll tide boys yesterday? Our boys done a good job. Of course we knew they would. That's like playing MGM High School or Baker. Uh, I think they've done pretty good myself for all the freshmen to be on the field yesterday. Now, what about that kicker? Man, holy shit, we got a good kicker. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we're going to cook these onions down, these, these uh, minced garlic down a little bit. Man, y'all smell that. Holy mackerel, they're wrong. Of course, anytime you cook onions and garlic together, they can't help but smell good. All right, let's take a look at these instructions right here. Okay, we're done stuff in the butt. I just want to be sure it's right. I mean, I, I ain't no cook cook, so uh, yeah, we're gonna cook down the onions and we're gonna add in everything else and the tomatoes in. Yeah, add to everything everything goes in here. Everything goes in. All right, here we go. Oh, them smell good right there. Hold with it, my. Put these tomatoes in there, like that. That ought to be close enough to what we need. We're going to get that cooking up, and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, I'm back, everybody. We got this to a rolling ball. That's what we wanted to do. Uh, to those of y'all who ain't never had this, it's delicious. You can get this down there at the uh, seafood place we go eat at. Bozo Seafood in Pascagoula. They got this stuff. What we're going to do now, we're going to add the sugar. We're going to add the salt. We're going to add the Old Bay. 
We're going to add the black pepper. Pull it full souche. We're going to add the basil. Then we're going to add the parsley flakes. With all that added in there, we're going to stir it up and let it cook down for a few minutes. Get the ingredients going. Man, that smells delicious. Y'all wouldn't believe how good that smells. I appreciate all the comments y'all give me on these old dumb videos, but man, I'm going to tell you what. I might not be a chef, but that's perfection right there. I'm going to... I'm gonna let this cook down for a little bit and I'll be right back with y'all new rest of it. All right, I'm back. It's boiling down good, smelling delicious. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add the shrimp to this. I got them in here somewhere, let's see. Dump the shrimp in there. You can chop your shrimp up little bitty pieces or you can leave them whole. We're going to leave them whole. We're going to cook these big old pretty shrimp here I caught in a cast net. See that? You got to know how to do it. I'll tell you how we do it. We'll go down to the bayou or Dolphin Island. You can take, uh, you can take cat food. Just regular old cat food. Like the hard cat food. Take that cat food and you put it in a put it in a bucket, you wet it down, you know, where it come apart, get nasty. Then you can dump you some flour in it, add water to it, and mix it up. You get it mixed up, you make it a bowl about that big around, but you flatten it. We got cane poles, you go down through the bayou, you stick up about 10 or 12 cane poles with about three or four foot of water. And you take in what we call cat food bowls and throw them out by your pole down through there. And once you throw them out by your pole, you give it about three or four hours while you go fishing. And then you come back with your cash net. You always probably want to have a buddy on there in case you like me. The cash net gets a rep for and they throw out the water. You know, that, that happens. All right? Once that catfish food bait been there for a while, you can go up there and throw your cast net out towards your pole. Sometimes you'll bring in a butter bowl full. Sometimes you won't bring none in. Sometimes you need to have a freaking half a gallon bucket full in there. But anyhow, you go down there and you do that. When you get to the end of your pipe, you turn around and you come back. When you get to the end of your pipe, turn around and come back. The more mud you stir up, the more them, the more them shrimps are going to come up in there. But that's, that's how we get shrimp. But I have to use shrimp troll. Without anything. What we want to do is we want to brown, we want to cook this down to these shrimp right here turn pink. And once they turn pink, they turn pink, we're going to add our heavy cream to it. That's something else. you got to have heavy cream. Uh, it's a half a cup of heavy cream is going to be added to this sauce. And that's going to be a Cajun cream sauce. we got to let this cook down a little bit, cook some of the juice out of it. And while we're doing that, I'm going to cut up the green tomatoes and grow my garden. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, everybody, I'm back. That's about the size of the tomato you're going to need. I already got them cut up. They here a little bit right to get hard to get good green tomatoes. Okay, the way we do the tomatoes. Those of y'all that watched my video before, you know how I cook fish. How I make my fish meal up, I'll give them a recipe on that. Well, that's basically the same thing. You can use Italian bread crumbs, flour, uh, cornmeal, salt, pepper, Tony saffron, and a little bit of Old Bay garlic flavor. And I like, I got one of them fancy fish batter things up there, but that damn thing a pain in the butt. Not only is it a pain in the butt, it's hard as hell to keep that thing clean. So what I do is an old trick my daddy taught me. I put my meal in a Ziploc. Now, cooking fish or anything else, that's what I use because when you get through with that puppy, you throw it in the garbage. You ain't got to wash it. Let me show y'all what I, that's the thing I'm talking about. Hang on a minute.
Anytime new gadgets come out, I always got to get one. Well, this is this box. Some of y'all know what it is, some of y'all don't. It's a Cajun injector, batter proof. I tell you what, it's a pain in the butt. Put your meal in here, you put your fish on there, or pork chops, whatever you're cooking. You put the lid back on, like that. And you shake this puppy in and out, all about like that. Now you can flip it over and shake it. When you pull your stuff out, it's sitting on top. But oh boy, let me tell you something. This thing right here get two inches deep in the batter. And it takes an act of Congress to get it out. So this thing here, in my opinion, is a piece of crap. Let's get rid of it. Now we ain't going to use it. I'm still cooking down these shrimp. I got to get a little of this juice cooked out of here, see? The shrimp's turning pretty and pink. Look at that. Look at that shrimp. Y'all think I'm kidding about the way you get shrimp. Well, that's the way you get them. The other day, me and my friend, son, we went down to bottle battery down there, and Lord, how mercy the crabs we got. Jeez. Man, them crabs are right long. They got to be five inches from tip to tip, and them damn things are about 10 to 12 inches from tip to tip. Uh, we cook them up, eat some of them, put some of them in the freezer. I'm going to make some gumbo later this week for everybody. But uh, this is Cajun cream sauce is what we make. And I'm trying to keep the video short. That way people watch them. I'm going to get some more of this liquid cooked out of here. Then we're going to add the cream and I'll be back with you. All right, we're back. Got most of the water cooked. I've been cooking a little bit. Man, I tasted one of them shrimp just in this stuff. Oh, my goodness. That'll make you want to slap your mama. Oh, don't slap your mama. Right, we're gonna add a cream. It's a heavy whipping cream here. That's what makes the cream sauce. While we got this wrapped together, oh my goodness, you ought to see that pink in it. Lord have mercy, that's pretty. Alright. We're gonna cut that down a little. Got a summer for 20 minutes, but we ain't gonna keep it at long. Alright, got my flour, we pat it down a little bit in the bag. Look, you take your green tomatoes here, you put them in some eggs and some milk, mix all that up good, and you kind of soak them in them eggs and that milk. And what you want to do when you're cooking these dumplings, you want to make sure they pop up to the top of the grease. When they pop up to the top, hey. They ready to eat. We're going to zip her up. We're going to shake her off. Now. See, that there don't make no mess in your wife's kitchen. I had that damn box over there, and that freaking box over there, and that damn thing, the top come off from it, and Lord, how mercy you thought I was doing sheetrock work. Won't take the tomatoes, put them in the grease. Come in that grease, y'all. Now you can double dip these, but I don't like double dipping. Let's see what one looks like double dipping. Might have to double dip. Check it out here, man. Double dip puts a little bit more meal on. Let's double dip them. We'll take them out if we do. But this is the way I like to do it. You know, you put them in there. That cook up real pretty. Get hard. Man, you ought to smell this. This smells delicious. You know, you wise husbands cook for y'all. Well, they just like to cook barbecue and drink beer and make y'all do all the work. Man, I love to cook. I love it. Nowadays, I think men, most men folk don't do nothing. They just sit around and let somebody wait on them. Now we're going to flip these boogers over. Well, they can uh, do the thing, man. Get pretty and brown. They already float. Let me get my gauge out of here. That thing make it hard to do anything with. 
with. See, I always want the grease hot. Grease needs to be on about two, 275 for fish, for anything you basically cook uh, in grease. You want hot grease. If you ain't got hot grease, and everything gets mushy on you. I gotta get me a pan for these puppies. Let's see. See what I got here. Out. I'm about to run out of room on this counter in here, yo. I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes and let them cook. We'll be back for y'all in just a minute. Alright, I'm back. I done got some out. We're gonna add some more. By the way, all y'all don't know, my wife's little book two dog got found. So everybody can quit looking for it. Can't get her to get none of these videos. She won't get in none of them. Anyhow, that's what your mater turns out to look like. Ain't that pretty? Thick? Mmm. Smells delicious. Check on our sauce. Tell you what, this is gonna make y'all's mouth water when you see it. Gonna be delicious. All right, we're gonna pull some of these out. I think they're ready. Y'all look at them big old pretty. Look like big pretty crab cakes. I got a couple more I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna be done. Oh, I have tore this kitchen up, y'all. This whole kitchen looks like a disaster here. Show y'all pretty crab cake. I mean, pretty. Look. See all that seasoning in there? I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna put on it there just as soon as I get these next two done. So we, uh, be ready at time to eat here in a little bit. While y'all sitting there waiting, let's take a trip out here to the grill. 